Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out the low angle bevel up jack planes. I have the Lee Nielsen and the Veritas, and we're going to take a look at them side by side. Now, if you want the quick answer, it's preference. So if you want to see their differences, stick with me. Here they are side by side. We have the Lee Nielsen and we have the Veritas to get some of the specs out of the way. The Lee Nielsen is coming in at four pounds, nine ounces. The Veritas is coming in at five pounds, seven ounces, so almost a pound heavier, but it's also longer and wider. So the Lee Nielsen is 14 inches long. The Veritas is 15 inches long. The Lee Nielsen is two and a half inches wide. The Veritas is two and three quarters wide. So overall, pound heavier, inch longer, quarter inch wider. Because it's a quarter inch wider, that means the iron is going to be wider. So the iron on the Veritas is two and a quarter inches. The Lee Nielsen is two inches. Now, this brings up the argument of the number four versus the four and a half. Okay? When you look at the number four and a half, it's heavier than the four, and the iron is, I think, three eighths wider than the four. But there are arguments back and forth all the time. Oh, the four and a half is better. Oh, the four is better. Oh, okay. It's going to be the same thing here. It, it really is. It's going to come down to preference. Some people prefer a plane that's heavier and wider. Some people like it smaller because it's easier to push. So if you like the number four better, you might lean towards the Lee Nielsen. If you like the four and a half better, you might lean towards the Veritas. The choice is yours there. Again, I'm saying this is coming down to preference 100%. They're both going to perform the same. Um, I'm not going to compare these two because there's two different metal types. This one's PMV11 and this one's A2, and I don't think that that's fair. But again, they're both going to perform. They're both going to take shavings. That's already been proven because these are selling really well. And I'm not going to get into the argument of PMV11 versus A2 versus O1 versus the new Lake Erie one. I'm not, I'm not getting into that, but that has a huge play And when I'm comparing planes side by side. In my opinion, it does. So let's just look at the parts and then we will go over the different specs and features, I guess bells and whistles that the Veritas has over the Lee Nielsen, kind of, I'll explain. Here's the caps. Here's the irons. They are both 3 16 thick. You can see the beds here. Adequate support for both of them. Again, I wish Veritas would have more support back here, but the iron does rest on this piece, so that helps. They also couldn't have more because of this Norris style. Now, on that note, this is going to come down to preference also. If you like Norris style adjusters, Veritas is the way to go. If you like the old, excuse me, tap tap of the iron, then Lee Nielsen is the way to go. The one issue I have with the tap tap of the iron with the Lee Nielsen is you don't have much space to tap tap. That's all you got. That's all you got to tap tap right there. So that does make it a little bit difficult, but there's not a lot of play there. So you might not need to tap tap a lot. And let me show you guys why. The Lee Nielsen has these bumpers. See that right there? I call them bumpers. I don't know what you guys want to call them. There's one there. They also have this line down here. If you guys can see that, that's actually raised up. So they machined it so there's not a lot of lateral play. When you look at the Veritas, there's a lot of lateral play. I guess I could even show you with the... There we go. So there's a lot of lateral in here. Lee Nielsen accounted for the lateral by the bumpers. Veritas accounted for the lateral by adding set pins. So that's why I can't say... 100% that this is a bell and whistle of the Veritas because Lee Nielsen accounted for it by adding bumpers. Veritas accounted for it by set screws. Now the set screws do come in handy because the idea behind them is that you can take the iron out, sharpen it, and put it back in exactly where you have it. These are those pins right there, and then here's how you adjust them on the outside. So you should be able to take the iron out, put it back exactly where it was. Some people also use that to lateral adjust the iron. Because if you know anything about Norris style, when you have the cap tightened down, it's really tough to adjust lateral. Depth is okay, but lateral is tough, so those set pins help with that. So again, that's preference. 
It really is. Uh, they both have adjustable mouths. Let me take this out so it doesn't fall. So there's the adjustable mouth on the Veritas. You loosen this knob right here and then it slides forward and back. They did add this, which I really like. I would say this is probably, I wouldn't say the biggest difference, but this is a big difference and a really nice feature, okay? So you set this so that way when you're adjusting this mouth, it doesn't smack into your iron, okay? So it stops it. Some guys also use this to micro adjust. I'll try to show you guys that. So you can micro adjust the mouth exactly to where you want it. See when I'm turning that, it opens it. And then boom, you just turn this and lock it down. I love that feature. I think that that's really handy. On the Lee Nielsen, you can still adjust the mouth, but it doesn't have anything to stop it. So you have to be careful that you're not gonna smack this mouth into your iron. But for the Lee Nielsen, you loosen this knob and then it's an old Stanley style that adjusts it open and close here, as you can see. I think I loosened the knob too much. It's starting to, or maybe not enough. There we go. So that's how that one is. If you're going with the Lee Nielsen, just make sure you don't smack the mouth into your iron. So you just have to be a little bit careful with that. Now, tote size is kind of a big difference. Let me bring this back out a little bit. So tote size here, you have the Veritas. That's got a big tote. So if you've got big hands, you might like the, this actually has really cool grain. I think that's the coolest grain I've seen on a Veritas before, but all right. So bigger tote, bigger knob up, knob up here that's more of a flat knob, which I like because I like being able to just put pressure like this. Where the Lee Nielsen's a little bit smaller. Now on this plane, I don't know if you're supposed to have a finger out or not because there's nothing to rest on. So that's why I hold it here. Okay, so smaller tote. The knob is also taller. It's not as wide, so it's not as flat, but it's still, I'd say they're still both comfortable. For me, and my hands aren't that big, but I'd say they're both comfortable still. Let me show you them here. So as you can see too, let me get these lined up. The Veritas has more of a complete forward lean. See that? Where the Lee Nielsen has more of just the arc. So the more of the standard style Stanley, which is help wanting the pressure to go towards the mouth. Where the Veritas, the pressure is still going to go towards the mouth, but it's more of a forward pressure, all the way forward pressure. But again, it's, it's preference. It's what you like more. They're both going to perform well. They could both be comfortable, but if you have really small hands, go with the Lee Nielsen. If you have really big hands, go with the Veritas. I'll show you the knobs. There you go. So there's the difference there. This is, I didn't notice this before. So I'm guessing the Veritas that I had before was older. Or maybe I just never took the toad off, but I didn't know that they had these two supports here. And I really like that because what I was going to mention is the Lee Nielsen has an extra screw here, which I always feel gives it more support. But Veritas kind of accounted for that by these two posts. <laughs> Again, so as I stated, it's preference. The easiest way to look at this, if you're more inclined to grab a number four versus a four and a half, go with the Lee Nielsen. If you're more inclined to grab a four and a half versus a four, 
go with the Veritas. If you're diehard for one brand, your decision's already made. <laughs> Yes, Veritas has those fit pins that help do the micro adjust. You can take the iron out, put it back exactly where you left it, kind of. But Lee Nielsen doesn't need those because they machined it so you don't need them. The only thing I wish the Lee Nielsen had that the Veritas has is that set pin that prevents you from smacking the mouth into the iron. So if you get the Lee Nielsen, just keep an eye out on that and make sure you don't do that. Um, I do want to give a shout out to our first member. His name is Joe. Joe, I appreciate you and thank you. If you guys don't know what that is, it's the Buy Me A Coffee. It's the same thing as Patreon, but Buy Me A Coffee takes less fees from people, and that's why I went with that one. Uh, the other thing is I would like you guys to let me know down in the comments because since I started this channel, if you paid attention, I did this video before and I'm redoing it. I got a background, I got lights, and I actually got a real camera. So let me know what you guys think about that. The feedback I've been getting so far for these videos has just been really good, so I appreciate you guys, and I decided let's go all in. That's why I got a camera, lights, and a background. Let's do this. Let's see where the channel takes us. Um, of course, do the like and subscribe. And if you have questions, let me know down below. <laughs> have a good one.